And welcome back guys. So we're here playing Rust. And this wipe has not gone to plan at all. Everything that usually goes well has not gone well for wipe number four. So two wipes ago I joined a village on the Alliance game PvE 2x server. And basically what happened is on the first what on the first village we we're on a y-axis road where it's in the shape of a y and the road is you know where people can build so there's a y like this it goes do do like this and people are built along it and last wipe we we're talking about where would we build our base next wipe so we built on an island on wipe number two okay that's wipe two of me being part of a village. Just clarifying. And it was cool. We were on an island. We had bridges. We had elevators. It was fun. It was something different. Right before the server wipe, we got a teaser of what the map's going to look like. Or look like this wipe. And we talked about living around ranch. Now, I'm under the impression that we're going to build here at ranch, down by ranch. And it sounded like everyone was on the same page and wanted to build my ranch. Okay. I get on the server 30 minutes in. And I already have my base down. And I'm ready to rock and roll. Admin pops on. And he goes, we're going to build here at L9. And everyone that's already built down here is like, what the fuck? Make up your mind. So you got these people angry. You got angry people on the server that are not happy that they built up here because we're all under the impression that they were going to build down here. Alrighty, so I got my tea farm up. I'm just trying to kind of wire under the bridge at this point. They built up there, fine, whatever. I'll just live out this wipe down here at ranch, right? Thinking, okay, whatever. Last minute decisions happens. Alright. Trying to do, you know, let it go and move forwards. <laughs> so to anyone, I'm told by an admin basically that whoever comes out with the T price first, that's where the price stays. Because anyone undercutting your prices, like if you put up a shop and you didn't realize that there's a shop out there that's selling teas for 50 scrap and you start selling for yours for 20. You know, if it was accidental and you changed your prices to 50, that's fine. But if you're intentionally undercutting a shop that's selling their teas for 50 and their shop came out first for selling teas, then you openly admit to being doing toxic behavior for undercutting because there are specific rules on the server. So on day three, we're kind of jumping over the place here, so just bear with me. This guy appeared last wipe selling guns. You know, he goes by Bandit Camp, and we know how the Bandit Camp, the people that make the Bandit Camp accounts, some of them are nice and some of them are just complete assholes. And this turns out to be one of those guys that are complete assholes. So I called him out in chat about having, really selling teas for 20. I'm over here selling mine for 50. He's undercutting my prices. He's also undercutting with selling six teas for 100. How so? So... He's sitting there selling six teas for a hundred. That's three hundred scrap that he's gouging from other shops, basically. He thinks it's he's being funny, undercutting tea prices and just being a dick. That's not funny. That's toxic behavior. I'm surprised an admin hasn't banned him from the server yet. Anyways, he came over to my base over here, and I'm already on a bad start of wipe where. You know, I feel like I've been pushed out of the village where I've been fed information that we're going to be building down here instead of them building up here. And we'll be talking more about the village here in a second. Alrighty. So I'm already off the bad st start. A bandit camp comes down here and he starts harassing me for an hour and a half saying you're not worthy. No one cares about you and all this other garbage. It's being super toxic. So I go ahead and turn off in-game voices. He decides to get in a helicopter and start no-clipping through the base, like he's an admin, and trying to kill me inside of my base. Where they're on this server, you're not allowed to kill inside anyone, because it's against the rules. 
are also pretty sure it's against the rules to be no clipping through someone's base when you're not an admin on the server. And I'm surprised that no one was looking at the console inside of the server of someone basically fly hacking through someone's base. You, you, you kind of see what's going on here. Is I was in, you know, apparently I pissed off someone that was using things that he should not have. So as I'm sitting here, like, you know what, I'm just going to disconnect because, you know, it, it, he'll eventually go away if I'm no longer active over here at this base. So I disconnect for 30 minutes and I come back and he's no longer over here. It's just being super toxic. I'm surprised he's not banned from the server yet. He came back on an alt account though. So it makes me wonder if his other if his other bandit account got banned or not, you know. He has a bandit I'm trying to speak here, I can't it's just word salad. You can tell I'm very upset. I can't even speak correctly here. So from what I've noticed from Bandit Camp accounts, they use things that they shouldn't have on Rust servers, and it usually leads with them having a back ban. And I've encountered one of those people that came over here and harassed me for an hour and 30 minutes, and the admins didn't do anything about it. Same thing when I called out his shop in general chat for undercutting my prices. You know, I'm just following the rules of what is supposed to be part of the rule system of this server. If you're shop is being undercut by someone, you have the right to announce in general chat that someone's undercutting your price, and you shouldn't be getting lashed out from it by other people. I got lashed out by other people, and no admin but in. So that's pretty much how my wipe is going right now, is, you know, the admin that was active at the time is the same person that founded this village to be up here. Even though we all talked about having it down here. It's like, what the fuck, man? On day way one of this wipe, we had a person ask, Hey, could I get some stone? I need stone. And basically what happened is I offered him 10k stone because I wasn't using it at the time. And... He said, oh, you're not part of the village, you're not part of the team, I can't accept it type thing. You know, toxic behavior. Alright, and I know you're like, oh, you could build a small base up here. I tried that. I basically got the same answer. You're not part of the team and you're not part of the village, so get the fuck out of here type attitude, basically. So, the, some of the people that are part of that village have been coming down here and selling me stone and wood and stuff like that. But for the most part, I just don't feel welcome inside their village anymore based on the certain attitudes of certain people in that village. Now, as far as I was aware of, we had the plan to build our own ranch, not up there in L9. So, what I'm noticing is I'm actually liking living outside of the village because of not being, oh, your base is too laggy, and I'm not hearing that shit. Uh, a simple answer, because I've had the bad interaction with the Bandit Camp guy, I'm starting to notice that a lot of my time goes into tea farming. So I'm sitting there for one hour and 20 minutes to do tea farming. And in my point of view, it's not worth sitting there and eating up one hour and 20 minutes of my time to make sure that farm is running correctly, it's got plenty of water, the temperatures are just right, the planters are not oversaturated. It's not worth my time of doing all that shit to make a tea if it's going to be sell, sold below 20 scrap. So I'm going to discontinue doing teas on the server basically. Uh, meaning I'll still make them for myself, but I'll no longer sell them. That guy want to be an asshole? Sell them? Let them. I'll still have to have a farm to keep the horse farm going. I'm finding out that the horse farm is actually better to do a horse farm than the tea farm on the server. I've been doing tea farms for so long on the server, wondering how people are getting like 60,000 scrap on day four. And I've got 60,000 scrap on day four for doing a horse farm. And what I was going to do this way, I was going to share what... I earned from the horse farm with the villagers so that they could get everything unlocked too. 
and maybe even set up a little casino, but that didn't quite work out this way. So my plan for the rest of the wipe is I'm going to build out this area as much as possible based on how the interaction of me being on the server where it feels like everyone just dislikes me this way for some reason. Don't know why. It just seems like that. It seems like there's some kind of hate coming from them that they just don't like me for some reason this way. I think it has to do with me suggesting to build around ranch. I, I don't know. But like I said, haven't had problems for the last three wipes being part of the village until now. Haven't had any problems on this server until now. <laughs> so you kind of see what's going on here. It's like, okay, admins didn't do anything about a cheater that came over and harassed me for an hour and 30 minutes. Also allowed him to continue selling teas, undercutting my prices of the shop that I had up on day one, where his came up, was set up on day three. And no one did anything about it. So I can see why this server died off. Because when I left eight months ago and took a break from Rust, this server used to have the pop cap of 50 people on it. And it no longer has that. And I came to the server, there's only eight people online. I'm like, okay, what the fuck did you do to screw this up? And... You know, I noticed since I started doing videos on this server that... You know the pop count has been up a lot lately. So if you've watched this video and you found out about the Alliance game PvE 2x server, so you should build like a little small base around me and this will just help us figure out how many of you are actually playing this Alliance game PvE 2x server and you found out about it about this server through one of my videos. Uh, there is someone in the village, I'm not going to name who, and a couple other people on the server that thinks, oh, people found out about this server to come meet me and all this other shit. And I'm like, yeah, I talk shit much? On top of that, I was looking up how they were advertising the server. And they're advertising it through some kind of Rust listing where you can vote for a server. And if I didn't know what the hell that was, then a lot of people don't know what the hell that was. And that's probably why the server hasn't been advertised very well. So that's what's going on this wipe, in a short, sweet way of saying it. My username used to be dot 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 angel dot dot dot. Switched it to dark angel based on how the bullshit I've been put through on this server this wipe. <laughs> and I just kind of wanted to match the channel at this point. Uh, so the plan here is I'm going to build up this area. Uh, there's like an RP docked over here. And I'm going to build like an ocean village out here I think I'm going to try to do. And I think that's going to be my plan for this wipe. On top of that, I got to mix in me playing some Fallout 4 and some Cyberpunk 2077. I got to finish off those series before we start playing new games. So the plan here, I'm going to finish out the rest of my wipe playing from April. And when it turns May, I'm going to stop playing Rust at May. When it, so when next month comes up, when May 1st comes, I'm going to stop playing Rust. Uh, I'm also going to cancel my VIP temporarily from the server. Because, you know, what's the point of me resubscribing for VIP to access VIP commands on the server, like stacking boxes or reskinning? Why should I be paying for it if I'm not using it? Another thing that pissed me off regarding the server this wipe is they removed that this server is RP encouraged. So now it's just a PvE server. They say that they still encourage roleplay, but it doesn't say in the server description that it's roleplay encouraged. So that's not going to be very attractive towards people wanting to be on a server that does roleplay. Alrighty. So another thing that pissed me off as a VIP, and we're not even being told that they're making this change, they made it so the skin box the longer you play the server, eventually, like after playing an hour or two, you have access to the skin box. I bought VIP to have access to the skin box and stacking boxes. Not to sit there and get access to it for free. You see the point. So I'm kind of pissed about that. I mean, it's nice for those that don't have VIP. But that's, you know, you say the aggravation for me. That's not why I bought VIP for. I bought 
VIP to access the skin box and not wait and actually be able to organize where my stuff was in the base. Not sit there and wait an hour to get access to the skin box. You know, it's like, what the fuck? So, like I said, I'm going to play the rest of April on this server. And then I'm going to stop playing in May regarding this server. Eventually I'll come back and play some more rust and see if they've knocked their goofiness shit off. And I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start checking out other servers to play because I'm starting to get bored of this one. That's just the honest answer. Like I like the plugins. I don't like some of the people on the server that are being assholes when you're trying to call someone out for breaking the rules. Or you know, you're trying to plan where you're going to put a village, and they give you misinformation, so you're building down here by your lonesome self, and they're built elsewhere. You know, that's not cool either. That shit stinks. So, you, you see the lovely situation I am for this wipe. I will be built by myself. I will do my best to build up around here, make it look cool. I'll build an ocean base out here, and I'll discontinue doing teas because it takes up a lot of my time. So let's do a base tour of what's going on. We've got the horse farm. They're constantly pooping, and there's too much poop for the composters to keep up with, and it's shit and fertilizer, basically. We've got the car base over there, and we've got the farm behind there. It's just a normal farm. Not much to look at. It's very simple. And they're still making stuff. I guess I'll let it keep running until it runs out. But that's pretty much what's going on this wipe. There's not much to see. And I wanted to make sure that you're all on the same page of what's going on this wipe. I've tried multiple times to make this video and try to do it, say it positively, and, you know, where it doesn't sound like, where it doesn't sound like I'm being toxic, like I'm trying to be positive with what happened and move past it, basically. It's kind of hard to move past something when, you know, it it looks like they pushed you out of the village. Like, put yourself in my shoes. You're being told, oh yeah, we're going to go build that ranch. And then suddenly they're building at L9. And you're like, what the fuck? You already have the blueprint of your base down. You've got too much invested in your base to move it at this point. <laughs> And then you build a 2x2 two two up there, and you're being yelled at for building a 2x2 two two up there, saying, oh, you're not part of the team, you're not part of the village, get the fuck out of here type attitude. It's like, the fuck? I know I'm going to get yelled at by the villagers going, oh, how dare you make a YouTube video saying this? Well, if you are treating me better, I wouldn't have a reason to make it. <laughs> yeah. So, you're all on the same page of what's going on with me for Rust here. This is just as best it's going to get. It's not going to get any better than this. It's not going to be any better described than this. Just make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. If you're playing the Alliance game server and you found out about this server through one of my videos, come over and build a little base over here and just show your support of I don't know how many of you have actually found this server by watching one of these videos. And I'll see you again soon. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button.